Now, NASA's released new images of an interstellar object astronomers say is a comet, probably even older than our own solar system. These are pictures released uh, just now during a press conference in Maryland. The object is called the Three Eye Atlas. It was first spotted in July by a telescope in Chile and has been tracked by astronomers ever since then. It is a comet that formed in another solar system probably more than eight billion years ago. NASA says it doesn't pose any threat to Earth. Interest in the object has uh, been heightened somewhat after Harvard astronomers suggested it could be an intergalactic alien spaceship. Um, I have to say that theory has been debunked by NASA. Here's some of that press conference. What is a comet? It's a small, natural, solid body that is a combination of rocky and icy material that evaporates as it gets warm, as it warms when it's close to a star like the sun. But to start with, I'd like to address the rumors right at the beginning. I think it's important that we, we talk about that. This object is a comet. It looks and behaves like a comet and has, and all evidence points to it being a comet. But this came from outside the solar system, which makes it fascinating, exciting, and scientifically very important. Right away, of course, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established, they studied it, and they established that Three Eye Atlas is not a danger to Earth. In fact, it's at least twice, uh, twice as far away as the distance between the Earth and our Sun. On October 30th, uh, the comet itself reached the closest it will ever be to the Sun when it crossed just inside Mars's orbit. Well, let's talk to Jennifer Millard, who's an astronomer and host of the Awesome Astronomy podcast. Thank you for being with us. Tell us more then about this comet and why we should be so excited about it. It's only the third interstellar comet that we have detected so far. So that's the third body from another star system beyond the sun. It means it can tell us whether the physics that went into forming our solar system are similar in other star systems. Is it exactly the same process? Is it a little bit different? How might the chemicals differ in other star systems? So it's a really exciting opportunity to study not only a different part of our galaxy, or it's also a chance to study it in terms of going back in time. Because as you said in the introduction, we think that this could be seven, eight billion years old, and our solar system is about four and a half billion years old. So our sun hadn't even formed yet. The star that existed before the sun was probably blazing away very brightly as this was forming. It's quite hard to get your head around those sort of numbers, isn't it? So just tell us more. So, I mean, that's why it's so important. That's why we can learn from it. How was it sort of first spotted? So we have a system of telescopes called the Atlas telescopes, and they essentially scan the sky looking for asteroids that could be a threat to Earth. So I know that that sounds terrifying, but that's exactly what we want to you know, use the technology that we've developed to protect ourselves. And it does that by mapping the sky. And then we essentially play spot the difference with the pictures and stars. They stay static and most of them stay the same brightness as well. Night to night, very few of them change. So if you look at your images and you've got a spot of light that seems to be changing position well you only need a few images and you can kind of work out a basic trajectory for it and that's what happened with this one we realized very quickly using the computer systems that this one is interesting this is a dot of light moving in a very special way and then the ball got rolling with other telescopes turning to have a look at it and it was very quickly established to be quite literally out of this solar system and i mentioned that um, bizarre theory it could be some sort of intergalactic alien spaceship. Um, I take it you're not a subscriber to that theory? No, there's this wonderful principle in science that we call Occam's razor, which is the theory that has the least convolutions and the least you know, specific nuances. That one's probably the right one. And the thing is, this thing looks like a comet. It behaves like a comet, even smells like a comet in terms of all of the chemicals and elements that we're detecting coming off it. So that means it probably is a comet. And the thing is, in astronomy, one of the biggest questions that we're facing right now is, are we alone? And if we had any reason to seriously think that this might be some kind of spacecraft, astronomers would be jumping for joy because it proves that not only is there life out there, but it's technologically advanced and much more technologically advanced than we are. But we don't have any evidence to point to that. It is a little bit weird and strange. It does have some slightly unusual twists on its properties, but then it's from another part of the galaxy mm. and another time period in our galaxy. I think it would actually be weirder if this thing was exactly like the comets in our solar system. So it's a bit strange, 
but nothing completely unexplained. All right, Jennifer, beautifully explained. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Jennifer Millard, their astronomer, host of the Awesome Astronomy podcast.